In today's video, I will teach you how to create a company logo using GIMP. Let's get started. Start by preparing your workspace. If you're using a custom font, download it and install it on your operating system, then you can restart GIMP to load the new font. Now, open GIMP and create a new image. You can use any size that fits your needs. For demonstration, I'll just use a smaller size. Now, select the text tool from the toolbox and type two text pieces. Then set the font size to 40 pixels and ensure the hinting option is disabled as it's more suitable for smaller text. Then use the move tool to place the text wherever you want. Then arrange the text to your liking. Now, select the Paths tool from the toolbox and start clicking on the canvas to create a path around your text. Then hold Ctrl to close the path by connecting the last point with the first, creating a fully enclosed path. Now click and drag the bottom edge downward to form a curve. Then use the handles to smoothen and adjust the curve. You can drag the left handle towards the center for a more even curve. And move the right handle to the right, aligning the handles above it to form a smooth curve. Now press Enter to turn your path into selection. Now create a new empty layer by going to the Layers panel and clicking the Add New Layer button. Set your foreground color and background color to your preference. Then select the gradient tool and use the following settings. Then draw a gradient within the selection. It doesn't matter where you start, the selection will fill with a gradient. Now go to Select, then None to deactivate the selection. Now go to Colors, then Brightness and Contrast, and set the brightness to negative 25 and contrast to 35 to make the colors pop. Now right-click the layer with the colored shape in the Layers dialog and select Alpha to Selection. Then add a new layer below this layer and fill the selection with black. And set the opacity of this layer to 25%. Now use the Move tool and set it to move the active layer. Then slightly move the shadow layer down to create a subtle shadow effect. Your logo should now have a polished, professional appearance. Review your design and make final adjustments, then save your work. If you find this video helpful, make sure to leave a like and subscribe. And if you want to see more tutorials, turn on the notification bell to get notified whenever we upload new videos.